I'm Tom from Resale America in the Lakeland Square Mall here in Lakeland, Florida. So we have the world's largest liquidation store, 110,000 square feet, where we buy Walmart, Target, Amazon, Home Depot truckloads, whole truckloads, and resell them. And then we mix it with used stuff that people bring in on trade. So one of our biggest things that we do is we have an eBay department. We sell a lot of stuff on eBay, a lot of stuff on Amazon. But uh, today we're going to do a video, right? We're going to do a video? Yeah, so today the title of the video is going to be Secrets of an eBay Power Seller. So Tom has been, he's got 20 years experience selling on eBay, and he didn't just start off making these sales. I mean, he started from, from scratch, right? And, and so today's video, we're going to do things to try to help some people. So if you're on eBay and you're doing maybe $1,000, $2,000 a month in eBay sales, and you want to try to get to $10,000 or $20,000 a month, we have some tips to try to help you get there. So Tom, do you want to show them your, your sales that you've done for the past 60 days or 90 days on eBay? Because sure. I know some people, they're like, oh no, does this guy even know what he's talking about? Is this legit? So here, oh. here's, his, here's his phone, here's his sales. See right there, 90 day total, $60,000 in sales in the past 90 days, right? Right. That's, right. That's, that's not bad, that's not bad. So here we go, Tom. So how, how has things been going here uh, at the store? You've been pretty, pretty busy, been slammed. Tom's like me, he's one of those people that works seven days a week. That's right. I never stop hustling, never stop working. The store has been extremely busy. Um, you know, we stayed open throughout all of COVID and I, we, we sold sanitizer, masks, things like that. And it, and it really helped out. We tried to help the community out at the same time. So it's been successful, and I think people are rewarding us with their business. So Yeah, I'm going to pan around real quick. You guys can see this store is 110,000 square feet. We were here a couple of weeks ago hanging out with Tom. He was gracious enough to give us five or ten minutes out of his day. So today we're going to talk about five tips to get from $1,000 a month on eBay to where you can start making ten, fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000 a month in sales on eBay. Because I know a lot of people right now are laid off. There's like, what, 30, 40 million people unemployed right now. There's, I mean, we've got riots in the streets and meanwhile here business is booming so if you uh, if you were to give somebody some tips we got we got uh five tips to help you get from from where you are now to where you want to be on ebay now like i said tom's got 20 years experience selling on ebay so he's got five tips so what would number one be if you were going to give someone tips to to do better on ebay what would number one be well, I think number one, the first tip would be never stop hustling. I think that you get up every day. If you're not a good worker, if you're not a natural hustler, if you're not somebody who can motivate yourself, you don't want to be in this business because it's always, it's, it's constant hustling. It's constant, constantly going to thrift stores, flea markets, yard sales, anywhere that you can find inventory, any, anywhere that you can make a dollar. You know, um, you, you know, I get up when, when I was just doing this at home and, and selling on eBay. I, you know, every day I went to the, I would go to Salvation Army during half price days, go to Goodwill, you know, there's always places to make money. There's always places to make money. And, and you want to get, get yourself a route that maybe you take once a week, you know, on Mondays you go this direction, Tuesdays this direction. But every day you need to be conscious that there's a deal out there. Check Craigslist daily. Always, you know, but there's not only Craigslist, there's Facebook Marketplace, there's, there's all these different ways that you can make money if you decide to get into this business. So constantly hustling is number one. Right. So what, what would be some of your favorite places that you like to go to? Did you like going to yard sales, thrift stores, Goodwills? Like, what were some of the favorite places that you like to target to get merchandise? I like I like yard sales. We make a lot of money at yard sales. You can find a lot of undervalued price items at yard sales. I think you can get your biggest margins at yard sales. But you know, Salvation Army half price day. I used to buy. I used to have twenty thousand pairs of sneakers on eBay half price. All I got them all from half price day at the Salvation Army. Um, there's a lot of thrift stores that have half price, 75% off specials, and you want to find those and constantly go see them, those stores, because you can get great deals there too. Yeah, yeah, I like going to places where you can negotiate, because some of these places, whatever the price tag is, is what the price tag is. They got no room, no margin. I go to a lot of pawn shops because they're willing to negotiate. I bring up something to the counter and say, hey, I found this item. It doesn't have a price tag on it. What, what can you do? And they're like, well, uh, this video game, we were asking, you know, 10 bucks. I'm like, well, I'll give you a dollar for it. They're like, sold, right there on the spot, you know. So I like places where you can go negotiate because some of these places, if you go to some of these stores, whatever the price tag is, that's what it is. There's no, there's no room to negotiate. There's no margin. And that's it. 
So that that's what I like to do. So you want to walk around, give us give us a, a, a walk around a little bit. This is the uh, after hours with with Tom at Resell America. Yeah, so right now, so yeah, see any here. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all leaving. Yeah. So um, so this as you guys can see, this place is huge. It's a hundred and ten thousand square foot. So number two tip would be what would that be? Don't specialize. Don't specialize in anything. You know, I mean, I've met other sellers that want to get into this business, and they say they just want to do fashion purses. They just want to do A or B or C. And, and what I think you need to do is you need to do everything. Because if you're hustling, if you're putting yourself out there, and you're walking past, who cares what the item is? If you can make money off that item, buy the item to flip the item. You know, even big items that you can't put on eBay, you want to buy them and put them on a Marketplace or, or, or Craigslist. You know, you don't want to give up any opportunity once you make the leap to, to, to hustle, to flip merchandise. Don't give up any opportunity. So Right. You know, I'm with you. I, if I have some bigger items that, that I'm like, this isn't good for eBay, I'll put it on OfferUp. I'll put it on Craigslist. I'll put it on Let Go because I'm like, hey, this item, I mean, I, let's say it's the other day I bought this. It was a, a, a bigger, heavier item. And I'm like, man, I can't ship this on eBay. It's going to cut into my profit. But I went home and listed on OfferUp, and I had people sending me messages that want to buy it locally. So, Absolutely. so Absolutely. that that definitely comes in handy. Wise, eyes wide open. You want to you want to be able to hustle anything. But you want to be able to flip anything that you can. All right. And uh, so uh, number number three. What do you think we got for number three here? What do we got for number three? Number three was uh, build relationships. Oh, that's, I mean, relationships is a hundred percent one of the best things. Come on, walk. I'm with you. I'm with you. You want to walk and all right. Relationships is so incredible in this business. The problem is, is there's too many people in this business that want to win. That want to win on everything they do. All right. But if you build relationships with people and realize that you, it can be a 50 50 relationship where you both win on a transaction, then they will stay with you for life. You got to let people make money in this business. So you're going to find brokers, dealers, hustlers, other people, you know, who, who specialize. You get to buy all their extra stuff, but make sure they make money. They have to make money or they will never deal with you again. Build those those relationships have gotten me farther than any anything anything that I can tell you anything that, that you should do. build the relationship. Go to the store owner. You know, I mean, I don't know how many times I go to thrift stores and I make friends with the, the store manager. And next thing you know, they're letting me go in their back room and pick the stuff in the back room, <laughs> or calling me when a truckloads come in. So now I'm the first guy to see the truckload. Yeah, that's it's, funny. I, I did that the other day. I was at a pawn shop and I was like, hey, I want to come in the back room. Room, I want to look at these DVDs. And they're like in the back room. And he's like, oh yeah, I recognize you. Yeah, come. On in you we've got a, a box load of stuff that we don't have set out to the general public but you can come in the back room and we'll show you all the merchandise that we haven't set out yet and and they were cool with it i went over there i paid i mean i paid 50 cents a piece for these dvds that were new in the shrink wrap but i mean if you if you haven't built that relationship they don't know who you are they're not going to just let anybody off the street walk into the back room it has to be a win-win yeah mean, and you and listen when somebody make gives you an offer let's say they offer you something for ten dollars and it's a little too high for you to pay you don't offer them two dollars it's disrespectful it's disrespectful. You find a price where you both make money, and then they'll come back to you the next time. They'll come back to you the next time. I mean, that's, you have to build relationships in this business. Right, and uh, that's, that's awesome. So number four, Tom, um, number four tip that, that we had. Tell them not to close that door yet. Sorry, guys. Uh, number number four tip that uh, Tom's given us is use other platforms. That's right. You you have to utilize all the platforms out there when you're selling. I mean, we mentioned a couple of them before: the online, the, the marketplace, Craigslist. You know, any offer up, uh, next door. You know, you can you can cross post all your stuff and all those all those platforms. Plus, I use Amazon, eBay, my store. I have a dollar store to liquidate merchandise. I mean. Figure out ways, any way that you can, you know, to get rid of your stuff. There's software out there that, that cross posts your, your merchandise across these platforms. They, those are very helpful. Um, you know, I always go Amazon first because you get the most money and it's the easiest to use. eBay second, my store third, dollar store last, and then I blow everything out. So, so make sure you utilize all the, all, the, all the different ways that you can sell stuff. Yeah, listen to what Tom's telling you guys. He's killing it. Look at this place here. This is a 110,000 square foot store, and this is only one store. He has another store. He, he just showed you his sales on eBay. I mean, this is all this guy does is eat, sleep, sell. That's all he does. So uh, number five, what do you what do you want to put for number five? What do we have? It is uh, know the value oh, yeah. of your certainly, merchandise. Certainly. That, I mean, the, the best advice I can give anybody is to pick a category on eBay, search it on eBay, go to completed items, and sort 
highest to lowest. And then you can start getting to know what values of things are. You know, you, you want to, you want to, you know, there is some deceptive stuff out there like the, the, uh, the Disney VHS tapes. They're not worth anything. <laughs> don't, don't yeah, that. the Black Diamond is the one he's talking about. Yeah, Everyone yeah. thinks that they, they found gold and it's really fool's yeah, gold, right? They're not worth anything. Yeah. But from just everything, just, you know, just, just type in matchbox cars and sort it highest to lowest. Uh, uh, Barbie dolls, any, any category you're in, search it highest to lowest. And then when you're sourcing, Hi, Melly. When you're sourcing, you have to look this stuff up. I don't know how many times that I almost lost deals because I didn't look something up that I would pass on. Uh, one time I had a commercial meat grinder, but it looked like it was 40 years old. I was going to pass on it. I look it up, it's $400 on eBay. You guys like, give me 10 bucks, I don't care. I was at a flea market. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, you, you got to search for those home runs. You got to know what things are worth, and you got to hustle. You got to be out there every day because we all... We get paid we, so we can eat every day, little little commissions, but every once in a while, you're going to find a home run that's going to buy you some stock or buy you a new car or buy you something. The home runs are out there everywhere, but unless you're constantly searching and knowing the values, you're never going to find them. Right, and so if, if you don't know the value, don't be afraid to look it up is what you're saying. Don't just, don't just walk right by it because you might be walking by profit and not even know it, but if you just took two minutes out of your day to scan the barcode or to look it up, you might be walking right by hundreds of dollars in profit and not even know it, right? All the time. Happens all the time. All, all the right. Time. Do you have anything else to say before we head out? Because I know we're, it's, it's getting dark outside. I know you guys are getting ready to close. Do you have anything else in closing that you want to give, give the people? I mean, that's all I got. If you'd like to come visit us, so it's Resale America in the late Lakeland Square Mall, where, you know, we buy, we sell, we trade, we do everything. Uh, you know, come on out and check out the store. I know we have some super values here. And if you have something to sell, bring it on into me because I'm always buying stuff. All right. Awesome. Thanks for taking uh, 10 minutes out of your day. We really appreciate you, Tom. And uh, I'm going to come back and see you again, man. I bought some stuff here today while I was here. I, I buy stuff here every week. All right. Peace out, guys. You guys have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks.